Hoops Hypes released their top 25 shooting guards in the NBA. They got Zach listed in a top five because we told y'all so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we here to talk about it. Y'all already know. You got to hear the music first, though. Tone, yeah. Gang. Bulls podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog C Dub. How you doing, boy? Man, I'm feeling great, man. What's up with Zach, man? What's going on, man? Hoops hype. They came out with a list of the top tw- of their top 25 shooting guards in the NBA. They got Devin Booker, number one; Donovan Mitchell, number two; Jalen Brown. Number three, Anthony Edwards, number four, and Zach Levine at number five. Hmm. And they put Brad Bill at six. I'm and DeJounte Murray at seven, I believe. So hmm. from just hearing that list, how you feeling about the list so far? When I first hit it, when I first heard this list, I'm like, okay, Zach do, does fit in the top five, but what about the where they seated? What where they where they seated at? They I like I like David Booker. Mm-hmm. At the first, as, as the number one is is unquestioned. There, you could you could probably talk about the next guy being in there, but he got to do something first. I I think Devin Booker has accomplished more in his career. And number two, I would put Jalen Brown for sure. Jalen Brown. Not only does he has the bag to say that he better be the best shooting guard in the game, he has the game to be be that. So I'm gonna say number two is Jalen Brown, and number three. It's Zach Levine, not number five. Number three. When you they got talk him at number about, four. I know. When you talk about <laughs> talent, when you talk about athletic, athletic ability, you talk about putting people in the seats in the stadium, that is Zach Levine. He is a show. At number four, I would give it to the young boy, Anthony Edwards. You know, he up and coming. You know, he, he just got in the league a couple years ago. But, you know, he's super talented. You can't deny it. Me, personally, I'll put him at four. At five, we ended with that little guy, Donovan Mitchell. Ooh. Somebody gonna call you crazy, but it's okay. It's your list for a reason. It's C-Dub's list. Not everybody's list. My know. list will go just like this. I want Booker number one. Jalen Brown, number two. I put Mitchell, number three. Zach at four. Bradley Bill at five. Yes, y'all. Anthony Edwards does not make my top five. Look, what he did last season, spectacular. But he's new to this. Brad (laughs) Bill is true to this. Look, I got got all my reservations around Brad Bill and his health and him not doing much since John Wall has left him in the Washington Wizards. But... I'm not going to anoint somebody top five just off one solid season. Did he have a good re- rookie season? Absolutely. But you got to earn your stripes in this NBA, in my personal opinion. And you just can't anoint somebody the best just off one spectacular season. It's something It's something like some, a conversation with most people. They gave Joel Embiid, I know it's a different position. They gave a lot of people anointed Joel Embiid the best center. I was one of those guys. Oh, did I eat those words? Mm, oh, did mm, I mm. eat those words after seeing Joker go on a playoff run like that? Yeah. Did I see it? Yeah. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Joe yeah. LMB came out, gave him a poo poo face, and we all really <laughs> like, hey, you can have your MVP, but the best center in the league is the Joker. So in this thing, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stand pat and round off my top five that don't include Anthony Edwards. It's just how I feel. All right, then. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, nephew. Hold on. 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 Okay. When you look at those guys, could you line them, up with, line them up with talent and overall ability? Will it still line up the same? Is it still up? Forget experience and all that. Will it still line up the same? Would you still call line them up in the same way that you did? I'm biased at this point. I can't line them up no different. Line them up <laughs> biasly then. Biasly. Give me, give it to the most talent, bro. I'm trying to do something for my man, Anthony Edwards. I like this kid. This kid I is I like already- him too. It's just that 
okay, if we want to go based off talent, I will put him over Brad Beal. But if yeah. I'm making a list, if I stood right here and they would say, who's your top five shooting guards? It would still be the same list. Like, I like Anthony Edwards. I actually believe he has a high ceiling. And I also believe he's the best player on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yep. But it's just too fresh for me, bro. It's just too fresh. I'm not going to live in, you know what I'm saying, uh, recency bias. I'm going to go good. over who has done it for a longer period of time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's why, that's and honestly, that's why I got Donovan Mitchell over Zach Levine in the, in the, when it comes to the conversation. I think that Donovan Mitchell, he's shown to be more explosive than Zach Levine as of right now. As of right now. Can we take away the 71 points? We can't take it away. But what but about it, 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 did that push him over the top as the 71 no. points? Nephew? What what about the 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 he did go home in the first round? All, what about like the w- but what about that performance in the bubble? He was spectacular. It was a battle between him and Jamal Murray, and he yeah, lived was, up that to was it. Epic. He, that was he epic. Li- he lived up to it, bro. He matched the competition. It didn't go in, it didn't, you know, end in his favor, but he set himself apart as one of the as the top three for me. Top right. three for me, right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then he came and backed it up. He gave you some, he gave you more than just the 70 points this past season in that one game. We know he's got your ass supposed to lose the game, but that's another topic for another day because we know your ass had a lane violation. <laughs> but <laughs> but definitely they didn't did. call it, so we can't complain about it, but we can provide context. I'm just hey, saying. Um, okay, let's get the elephant out of the room real quick. Is I got two questions for you, nephew. Is Zach Levine close to that number one best shooting guard in the NBA? And if he is, what does he have to do to get there? First and foremost, Zach Levine got to stop deferring. That's step number one. Step number two, we got to see it in the playoffs. Y'all know me. I, I uh, He had one playoff series. It was It was bad. You know what I'm saying? He had you had DeMar DeRozan come out in game two, give you a 40 piece fried hard, fried hard with lemon pepper. I understand you was hurt, but if you're on the court, we don't give you excuses. Mm-mm. So one of your stars gave you one game. You telling me you as the other star couldn't give you another game, at least lose 4 2 instead of losing 4 1? Okay. Hey, but ne- okay. Okay. I get you on that. Definitely he got a. Show and perform. That's how stars are born in the playoffs. I'm talking about his game overall. Is is he good enough to be the first, the the best shooting guard in the league? He is, but it has to. It, with him being so great, it has to come with results. That's why we anointing. You know, what I'm. That's why my top two is between Jalen Brown and Devin Booker. Guys who have won has solid playoff experience. I know it was a bit rocky for Devin Booker initially. But once he got it on track, he's been solid. He even over you caught you asked me, he's even the alpha over Kevin Durant. Sounds crazy, right? That ain't right. That ain't right. It ain't, it don't sound right. But it I can ain't say right. this the man was shooting 70% from the field, bro. Yeah, he was in the playoffs. Yeah, the playoffs is supposed to be the yeah. best competition, bro. Yeah, bro. I gotta anoint him number one, Jalen Brown. Some may argue. He was more aggressive throughout the playoff runs, more aggressive than Jason Tatum throughout their playoff runs. Mm-hmm. So the, it's there. You know what I'm saying? And Donovan Mitchell, even though the, the results ain't all the way there or in his favor, he's made it to the playoffs more. He has more playoff success. Now, when it comes down to that, that's why the top three, it can't fade me on that. Now, when it comes to four and five, that's when we can contribute a lot to it. You know what I'm saying? Experience, talent, what have you done for me lately? So that's why oh, I got bro. my. That, that's why I round out my my last two with yeah. Zach. Y'all can call me a homer. I don't give a damn. It's my belief. Make your own list. <laughs> and then Bradley Bill at number five. I think, even though Bradley Bill is at number five, I will say this: Anthony Edwards, he's coming. Yeah, he coming. He coming. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. They got two of the best shooting guards on one team, bro. I'll give you that. He at least number six at the very minimum. Yeah, like bro, and, and, and man, Phoenix is gonna be op this year. But um, this is interesting for Zach because I think he because I didn't answer that question that you that I asked you. I think Zach is very close, bro. I think he's close. Yeah, he's we can closer. get a little 
Yeah, we could get a little bit better on defense. And like you said, I need him to be more assertive. This is your team, Zach. I need you to take it over. Uh, when this season starts, we got to know it's your team from game one. Facts. From game one. So this team is going to live or die. I know we got talent on, on, and, the, on the squad, but it's going to live and die with you for sure. You the cat. And not add on to this. In meaningful games, you don't, it don't always have to be in the playoffs. Let, yes, we want to, you know, take the microscope or the binoculars and focus on the playoffs. But what about those meaningful games? Yeah. We need him to be present and active in meaningful games. Once it comes to that second half of the season, and let's say the Chicago Bulls, you at six and you battling with whoever the fifth seed is, and you know that this game could propel you, can propel you to the fifth seed, you got to ball out. Yeah. It's something like that. Or if some, you know what I'm saying? It's those type of situations. You can't have games to where y'all play like crap against the Minnesota Timberwolves last season. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I think he ain't learned how to get that switch yet. I think you got to go deep in the playoffs for you could turn that shit on that wheel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't been there to have the experience of a real, like, a slug fed, slug fest second round series. Well, yeah. the best player wins in second round. That's what I say. Whoever got the best player in second rounds win. First round, you know, some upsets can happen, bro. But right. in the second round, best players win. Yeah, sure. and I and I think that's what you know. what I'm saying like I can't be mad at people if they just keep them at four or keep them at five. But at least be real, y'all. Don't come on the comment box being unrealistic for real, because there's some craziness going on in the world right now. We don't need it hey. Is, Never mind. I was, yeah, you know, we just had the Alabama. <laughs> we just had the Alabama sweet tea party. It's busting. So we everybody feeling crazy right now. So let's just pump the brakes. Let's be realistic. However you feel about him, he's still a top five. Whether you got him at five, he's still top five. Regardless. I right. want to I want them to name some players better. Besides these names right here. Name some players better. That's it. That's all I need. For real, though. Oh, no. But y'all go ahead and let us know in the comment box below. We just wanted to get y'all a quick hitter for that day. And y'all no already know, man. Hit the comment box. Let us know your thoughts. Is Zach Levine a top five shooting guard in the NBA today? Let us know. Be reasonable, though. Don't come yeah. up here spewing nonsense because you hate the man. Cut that out, though. Y'all cut the <laughs> hate. Oh, bro. <laughs> but, uh... Y'all already know. Subscribe here for your latest boys content. If you want to be a part of any mailbag episodes, hit that numbers right there in the yeah. middle for you to see the entire episode. 773-242-9219. And we're going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Come on, yeah. Gang. Yeah.